A new manager and a much changed team. Only Allen, Fairbrother and Bullock are in the first 11 compared to the starting lineup from three years before. Jerry Queen was now in the attack and making his first start for the Orient, goalkeeper John Jackson, who also signed from Crystal Palace. The star man for Luton was £100,000 signing Alan West, and number 11 John Aston was a European Cup winner with Manchester United. Oh, and be ready for the post match views of a certain Mr. Brian Clough. Downing. A lot of pace about it, and a good pass there. Beautifully played by Evelyn. And on now for Jerry Queen. Good play here by Orion. And the cross, and pushed away by Barber. Beautiful approach play there by Orion. Queen, and now Downing for Orient. Bullock very lively indeed, and Faulkner have followed him well to turn it into a touch, but in fact in doing so had used an elbow in the back of the Orient number nine. So Ron Chalice spotting that very quickly. Bullock is going for this one, getting an into it! Oh, a fine save though by Barber. That's two very good saves already by uh, young Keith Barber. Anderson now for West. Well, he got uh, Allen going one way, then the other, and held off Wally very well. It took pain to get it away. That was a very good run indeed by Alan West. And here's West again. Across towards Buckley. Jackson shouting for it and needing to push it. And Ryan and Jackson doing well. And that'll certainly make John Jackson feel better. Downing now, taking it up for Orient. With the Luton defenders getting back as quickly as they can. Oh, they allowed that to go right through, though, and it's with Queen now. Played once more for Downing. And across the face of that goal for Barber once more to go down. So we're getting a lot of good action at both ends of the field. David Payne getting himself into a corner there, and in fact conceding a corner to Luton, which is designed for two big men from the back to come up. Faulkner and Garner, the five and the six, both going right up. Towards the near post, and Hamlet like very nearly an own goal. In fact, it was cleared off the line by Downing, the number three. Ricky Hamlet so very, very close to putting it into his own net as that corner came over. Payne getting past West, and West coming back for some more. Fairbrother laying it back again for David Payne. There comes the cross again, not a very good one. West. Thompson. Now, can Fairbrother get anything here? In fact, Thompson got the foot to it and gave away the corner. So, another corner for Orient. Terry Brisley's going to take it. Tom Wallace come up once more. Brisley's corner. And Bullock couldn't quite get a header to it. West. Downing's going in there. That was a good header by Downing that might have uh, reaped something. Allen, Orient still in there with a lot of men planted forward again. Downing, crossed once more. This time towards Jerry Queen, getting up very well. Fairbrother with a shot, and another good save by Barber with Thompson turning it away. A prodigious leap there by Jerry Queen, and Fairbrother shot, pushed round again by this fine Luton goalkeeper, Keith Barber. Downing. Queen. And Ryan. Clumsily giving away the corner there. So Grizzly, well, will take the corner. For Orion Bullock, the number nine, right in there. Such a dangerous header of the ball. Tom Wally, the number six there. Jerry Queen's at the near post once more. It'll go beyond Queen. Oh, and it hit the post, and he still hasn't gone in. 
Now, Brisley, will he turn it back? No, the whistle had gone. So, Orient kept out really by a little bit of bad luck there. Having uh, had three or four very good chances, beaten away by the brilliance of Barber in goal. Still with Aston. Brisley. Allen and Wally. Planted left footed there for Jerry Queen. And Faulkner playing it straight to Heffernan. Downing's made a very good break down the left now for Orion. Now, could the Orion make this payoff? Well, Fairbrother is almost there. Garner is there too. And no! And just passed! Having hit Grizzly in the face. And Grizzly would have known nothing about that goal. As it came out, the ball whacked him in the face. Ricocheted no more than a yard past that Luton goal. Allen. Oh, good delicate skills there by David Payne and uh, Peter Allen. And now it's with Wally. Queen trying to lay it off. And number 11, Heffernan's almost there. It's not away yet by any means. And it's still not away. And now here's Bullock. What a tremendous scrimmaging there. Now can Orient make it? Brisley. No. Queen. No against the post. Fair Brothers missed it. What an incredible sequence. That was quite remarkable. The ball finally cannoning off the post. And in all that intense skirmishing, Luton, for some reason or other, getting a free kick. Green back for Downing. And still Orient coming forward and piling it on. Wally now. To Heppelet. Stabbed with the outside of the boot there for Peter Allen. Payne has got into the middle as well. Fairbrothers there now. Is this Fairbrothers' chance? Charge down again. Payne over the bar. Well, you feel that uh, that Luton defence has got to cave in sometime. Except at the moment, they're refusing to do just that. Allen. Showing so much skill, Peter Allen. And more of it there, still with Allen. A little shimmy towards the number 10, Jerry Queen, and just no more than a couple of inches too high. But Peter Allen showed skills that really would have been uh, worthy of the first division there. Well, Brisley said thank you very much for that. Queen. Heppelet. Brisley's right in there again. He's still there, played back for Jerry Queen. Hitting one, yes, that will do from Queen. And a goal that Orient deserved. Struck home with great power and beautiful accuracy by Jerry Queen to put Orient in the lead. So much credit there for Brisley. And the final shot there from Jerry Queen. But now it's John Ryan for Luton. Aston away on the left, but Ryan taking it his own way until it's Peter Allen who comes and takes it off him. So the Luton bench looking a little dejected now. Bullock, a nice header there for Brisley. Played on for Fairbrother. Queen now. Oria playing some marvellous stuff, and there's a shot by Brisley. Well, that was two or three yards too high. So the shooting wasn't very good. But the build-up was excellent. And they look in very good humour, too. Ryan. Anderson. And a free kick given. So Luton now are beginning to claw their way back into this game. With something like 12 minutes left now. Orient leading by a goal to nil. Jim Ryan, and Bobby Thompson standing over it. Get tight, Chris. Ron Chalice will want that to orient wall back 10 yards. So they are standing and waiting. 
and wondering like everybody else if Luton can make anything of this. A little chip by Ryan, Anderson is there first, and it was no more than two inches wide of that post. Now Queen, will he get in first? Queen winning it now, now Barry Fairbrother. Alan will follow this one in. The dummy giving him just that extra yard that he wanted. Wally. Queen. Played beautifully by Queen there for Wally. A little chip back again. Oh, what a magnificent goal by Fairbrother. What a tremendous goal by Orient. Well, that was a magnificent piece of build-up again by Orient. And Wally was beautifully placed to take that pass. He turns it inside, and look at that for a flying header by Barry Fairbrother. 2-0. 2-0 then to Orient. Barry Fairbrother, the scorer, who has now scored in three successive games for them. But the man who made it, unquestionably there, Tom Wally, with the run and the cross. But a beautiful pass, of course, that put Wally in possession in the first place. The goals were a good example of the match, and it was a credit to the second division. Um, the second division, as you know, is wide open, and it's very important that teams like this keep playing football. Here's the it, first goal. It's a, it's a ball fought for in, in the opposition half. And as you can Brisley with the eight on, don't forget the orange are playing in dark shirts. The ball's hooked in by the 11 to Young Brisley, who's kept running. He attempts to pull it down. It falls back to him again, who lays it back. An ex-Palace player, Jerry Queen, whacks it into the corner of the net through a defender's legs. A lot of hard running, a lot of skill went into that goal. And this one's an even better example. Here we have Peter Allen, composed, taking his time, laying the ball when he wants it laid. He lays it to Wally, just coming in the picture there, who lays it immediately, but keeps running. Watch how far he runs. The ball is pushed through him, to him, and the Luton defence is caught off balance. They were ball-watching. He crosses a good ball, the ball is headed into the net, and as I said originally, that is a good example for the second division. They looked well coached, they looked well managed, they looked on top of the form. It was a derby match, but it was an exciting game. As you've said, the 11,000 crowd didn't do the game justice. But if they keep playing like that, it's only a matter of time, A, for them to improve the crowds, and B, for them to get into first division.